All right, it's recording. This is uh, Dr. Mendel, your friendly anatomy professor. We were looking at the sternocloidal mastoid. So the word sternocloidal mastoid almost has the full name in there, where we have the sternum. The clavicle is kind of missing here, so I don't know exactly what happened to that, but the clavicle would normally come underneath here. So we have this, the sternum, and the clavicle is the origin. That muscle comes up and inserts into the mastoid process. We're gonna look at that on another model, and we can see that right here. And so we have the sternum and the clavicle coming up and inserting into the mastoid process. So let's take a look at that on a skeleton. The origin for this muscle has to be the part that stays put. The insertion is the part that moves. So we have this little red line labeled 31, and here, this little area here on the superior anterior lateral aspect of the manubrium, and the internal anterior, sorry, anterior one third here of the clavicle are the origin. It comes up and it inserts right here on the mastoid process and the inferior nuchal line. The action of this muscle is, remember, a muscle just reaches up and grabs and pulls. So it will take this and turn it to the opposite side and lean it to the same side. So we have same side lateral flexion, opposite side rotation, and cervical flexion. So flex, lateral flexion, opposite side rotation is the action of the sternocleidal mastoid.